The last day of the year, the last time fishing with my friend Ethan is going back to New Zealand and we're gonna finish the year off with a big bang. We're gonna chase some GTs off the rocks behind us down here. Weather conditions, <laughs> not the best. <laughs> but uh, hey, we're doing it, you know, we're doing it. So a uh, small walk to the ledge and uh, let's see what we get today. Hopefully a big GT banger to finish the year 2022. I've got my sunglasses. <laughs> I think I won't need them anyway, so. Maybe the big fish like the chop, so uh, maybe it could be a little bit of an advantage. Let's see. We have arrived to this spot. Right it. it might clear up, who knows? Like, let's pray for it. All right, let's get some lures in the water. All right, trying the homemade lure out. Lure by World Travel Fish. <laughs> Homemade stick bait, no strikes, no hits. Get the big guns out. quite hard through the rain. Unfortunately no fish yet. But uh, the sky is about to open for it. As you can see, no more no more rain so uh, for the moment nice. We're not giving up yet. Show them to the camera if you want. Nice one, Asian. Yeah. Mother-in-law. 
You know why this fish is called mother-in-law? Why? So apparently it tastes so bad, you only want to give it to your mother-in-law. <laughs> Actually, it's a very tasty fish. Do you like them? Have you had them before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep them. That's a keeper. Let's keep them. One keeper. Oh, we got a nice fish with the rocks for Ethan. Nice. Good old Ethan, man. A nice mother-in-law. They call it mother-in-law because they're really, apparently really bad eating. You only want to give it to your mother-in-law. But actually, they're really tasty. So yeah, what I was saying with fish, every fish has different qualities. Often, you gotta cook fish the right way to, to bring the quality of the fish uh, shine. So this mother-in-law mother fish is actually truly really nice. And I bet we're gonna find a few nice ways to enjoy this fish tonight. In the brains, behind the head. And it should be all good. Yes, he did it. Go on. Yeah. Nice little banger to finish the uh, end of the year. Mother in law, man. Yeah. It looks like a GT in the beginning. Oh, GT. I think so, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Oh, the hit, yeah, yeah. It might be on the two now a little more. I'm not going to put my fingers in there. <laughs> a little soft plastic, eh? Already lost another big fish there, too. Nice. Want to hold them off the camera quick? Yeah. Nice cold trout, Ethan. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's dinner. Yeah. We changed the cold straight away, you see? Yeah. Oh, nice. Good on you, man. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Ethan. Ethan, he did it. He's got two fish. Not one, but two. <laughs> two super really nice fish. Unfortunately, myself, I think uh, he can't always win. At least, he didn't come here for no reason. <laughs> I thought we were getting just here rained on the whole day. And, but hey, all right, let's call it a session almost. Huh? And then uh, get some nice fish to cook up. What are you doing, man? Stick from a fish. Your fish. From a fish. Your fish. Oh, I forgot. He got two fish to carry. <laughs> How many fish did you catch, Garth? Uh, like a <laughs> couple when you're not watching. <laughs> One fish. Mm. Two fish on a stick. How are you gonna carry that? Just on my back, I'll just two fish on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, no big fish. Well, at least I didn't get any big fish. As you can see, Ethan did pretty alright. <laughs> He's been slaying it. He's been slaying it. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. And see you at the kitchen. I'll see you. Yeah. Awesome, man. Take care of yourself. Thanks I'll see you somewhere in the rock in the evening from here. <laughs> Ciao, man. Bye. We're back in the backyard with our fresh cold catch. We have the coral trout and the mother-in-law fish. They're both caught by Ethan, credits to him. 
but uh, he's leaving tomorrow morning super early to go to New Zealand. So I'll be enjoying this fish. Thanks, Ethan. And quickly, I want to show you how I'm going to process the fish. Hopefully, we do a nice fillet job. I'm going to make an insert first behind the fin here, all the way in the back of the head. Often people forget a lot of meat down here. So we're going to make sure that the insert goes all the way in the back here. Hoppa. And then we're going to follow along the spine here, all the way to the back. And we make sure we stay close to the spine. So here we go, we're gonna start scratching along the meat, along the spine. And then you come to his rib cage here, and you should be able to just follow the rib cage here. And just cut along the bones here. Here we go. So here we go. Get the beautiful slab of coral trout. Freshly caught today. The other side is basically the same thing. Insert as far as possible towards the head, you see? Then we make an insert along the spine here. And we follow once again the spine all the way up. Same thing, different size, a nice slab of coral trout. The next one, we got the mother in law fish. We go behind the fin down here and we feel where the meat stops down here. We make a nice insert. And this side always a little easier. We go like that. We just follow once again the spine. We follow the spine all the way to the back. And we can see clearly straight away different kind of meat we're deal, dealing with. It's got for sure more of a distinctive bloodline. We flip a slowly more over and over until we reach again that rib cage. And we go slowly along the rib cage, just like that. And here we go. Another beautiful fillet. This is the mother in law. Not a bad job at all, as you can see. Not much meat at all. A bit on the tail down here. But yeah. Next. The other side. Same thing. Behind the fin, once again. Go all the way through the head. Go against the, the scales. And we're gonna once again follow that spine. All the way. And slowly. Scratch. Scratch the fillet of the bones. So number two, another beautiful fillet. Back in the kitchen with the fish. As you can see, this is the coral trout. Super nice white flesh. This is a modern law. There's a bit of more of a bloodline through the flesh. And a little bit more sturdy meat as well. We're gonna cook the fish on two ways. First way, really easy. Just pan fry with a bit of butter, lemon. Just to try the fish out and how the fish tastes. The second way, we got to cook only the modern law. We're gonna cook it on a Korean style. With some goji jam paste. That's a fermented chili paste from Korea with some rice, some nice vegetables, kind of Asian twist to it. Let's start with the rice first. Get the green goat jump paste. It's actually a fermented chili paste from Korea. That's me, oil. Korean koji jang chili paste. 
benches on the side. Really easy. This one here as well. It's nice. Rustic. Bench. Here we go. A few sheets of mine. Just like this. We're going to roast it like this together. Well, the rice is simmering slowly, so we got a piece of the butter along quickly. We got a cut piece off the core right like this. We got to cook the worst fish compared to the best fish of Australia. Now we got to pan fry the fish quickly. We got a really hot pan. The olive oil, just salt on the fish. Alright, let's have dinner. First, we're gonna try the corn trout and the mother law. I also need you guys to paint this as well, guys. So, please, have a bit first from the, from the coral trout here and from the mother law first, but everyone, let me know which fish you prefer. Let's do this. I'm so curious which one's gonna be better. What are you guys trying first, the coral trout? Shiny. You like it? Wow. Mmm. That is oh. Mmm. Mmm, good. You can see how pearly glossy the fish. Mmm. Beautiful. Cold trout is of course a winner. Now we're gonna try the mother and love fish, guys. The worst fish in Australia. No? 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 It's really yummy. Oh, it's yummy. Beautiful. All right, now, my turn. So we all tried the fish tonight, and we, of course, really enjoyed the cold trout, but the modern love fish is actually really, really good, right? Yeah. A different flavor, different texture, not more firm, and uh, less sweet to the meat, but still, like, mmm. It's awesome. I don't know why you call modern love fish, because it's not that bad. I won't leave the Monolaw, I'll eat myself. Mmm, 
And where's the fish? Six, seven plus for sure. Of course, gold trout, I will, eight, eight. But yeah, now we're gonna enjoy, of course, our main courses. All right, this is all done. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy new year. Thanks.